again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today I have got a lovely lacy stitch that is the butterfly wings stitch. And yes, looks like little butterflies flitting around your little piece here. It's so pretty. And uh, for this piece, I used Pound of Love, which I... This, this is like my go-to for so many projects, Pound of Love by Lion Brand. And it is a, well, they say it's a weight of four, but I would say it's sort of a thin weight of four, but I like it just the same. And it is acrylic and you get tons of yardage. And um, so for this particular piece, I used, focus, thank you, <laughs> a size I 5.5 millimeter hook. However, you can of course use whatever it is that works for you. The only thing that I would try to stipulate is that I would strongly suggest using a solid color yarn if you're going to do this stitch because it is so pretty and you don't want to take away from the beautiful laciness of the stitch. An ombre would look really nice, um, but one with a lot of color changes I would be disinclined to suggest but it's only a two row repeat. It looks a lot more complicated than that, but actually it's not that bad. And of course, I am going to go through the repeat for you. So with that being said, let's get started. Alrighty. Okay, so first things first, you do need your base chain and it needs to be a multiple of 14 chains plus an additional four chains. I did three multiples of 14 plus my additional four chains, and I ended up with 46 chains. Now, of course, you can make this project as wide or as narrow as you want to, whether it's going to be a small blanket, uh, a wrap, a scarf, some curtains would be awesome. Um, a lot of these lace patterns really lend themselves to that sort of thing as well. Of course, if you were to do that, I would suggest using something very, very lightweight, like a mercerized cotton, you know, but Ultimately, it is, of course, up to you what it is that you would like to do, the width, the dimensions, etc., etc. Now, like I said, multiple 14 plus an additional four chains. And uh, yeah, I mean, of course, I would suggest doing a swatch, you know, but let's get to it, shall we? All right, so I've got 46 chains and I'm going to get into it with row one. All righty. All righty, row one. Now, row one is going to be our setup row. And then after that, rows two and three are going to be the repeat for the rest of the project, which is rather nice, don't you think? So to start off with, we need to do a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So not in there, but the next one over, a little single crochet. So we're just getting ourselves situated and started here. Then we're going to chain two, skip the next chain, and single crochet into the next. So we went into here, skipping that next chain, then going into this chain right here with a single crochet. So we have ourselves a little bit of a loop at the end here, which we're going to work in on the next row. All right, and then we're going to skip the next four chains and we're going to start our first cluster, which is going to be three trebles, a chain four, and a single crochet into that chain. So going to skip the next four, one, two, three, and four. So into that fifth chain, okay, yarn over twice because we're doing treble crochet stitches and you need the treble. The double will not work. So yarning over twice, going to that fifth chain, and we're gonna do three trebles. So pull through two, through two, and through two. And then two more, so yarn over twice, go into that same stitch to make another treble, through two, through two, through two, yarning over twice, going in, pulling up a loop, through two, through two, through two. And then we need to get back here. So chain four, one, two, 
three, and four, and then into that same stitch, a single crochet. And we have ourselves our first cluster. All right, so to do our next cluster, we need to hop over a little bit. So first start off by chaining two, one and two, skip the next chain and then into the next single crochet. And now we're going to be doing the opposite of what we did here. We ended with a single crochet. Right now we're starting with a single crochet. So after making our chain two loop and doing a single crochet after skipping a chain. So we have our single crochet, then chain four, one, two, three, four, and into that same stitch, three trebles. Boop, it happens. <laughs> We're yarning over twice and into that same stitch, three trebles. So through two, through two, through two, yarning over twice, pulling up that loop, through two, through two, through two, yarning over twice, pulling up a loop, through two, through two, through two. And we are gonna have to anchor that. And to do that, well, we need to skip another four more chains. And be careful that you don't accidentally mistake the one that we worked into. So there's this one that we worked into, then one, two, three, four. So into that fifth chain, single crochet. And so we have our second cluster. Now I'm, I'm trying to go slow because I know it can be a little confusing. So that is our two clusters. Alrighty, and we shall continue. Okay, so to continue on for our base chain, we're going to be doing essentially the same thing by creating another chain two loop and so on and so forth. But we have to be careful that our, our butterfly wings work out in sort of a symmetry-like fashion, and I'll show you what I mean. So right now we're going to start by chaining two, skipping the next chain, doing a single crochet into that next stitch. And so you can see that right here, we have it sort of laying down, you know, adjacent to the chain. Well, we have to do that again. So going to skip four chains, one, two, three, four, into that fifth chain, we're going to do three more trebles. So pull through two and two and two, yarning over twice, pulling up a loop, through two, through two, through two, yarning over twice, through two, through two, through two. Now, what I was talking about before about the, the symmetry, they're sort of like little bookends because again, it's laying down next to here as opposed to over here where they're sort of branching out from the center. We'll get there. And it's really only the, the first row that is a bit beastly and that's why I'm trying to be thorough. So from here, chain four, one, two, three, four, and then into that same stitch, single crochet. Okay, then chain two, skip a chain into the next one, single crochet. Okay, and then because over here we ended with a single crochet, we're starting with one here. So now chain up four, one, two, three, four, into the same stitch, three trebles, one, two, and 
three, so I've got four stitches total. Then skip four chains, one, two, three, four, into that fifth one, single crochet, chain two, skip a chain going to the next with a single crochet. And again, this one is running parallel to our base chain. So yarning over twice, skipping four chains, one, two, three, four, into that fifth chain, three trebles, one, two, and three, chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet into that same stitch. Okay, chain two, skip the next chain, going into the next with a single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, four, three more trebles into that same stitch, pull through two, through two, through two, yarning over twice, through two, through two, through two, through two, through two, through two, skip the next four chains, one, two, three, four, into that fifth chain, single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into the last chain. There you go. So as you can see, they sort of are bunched together, and then they spread out, and then they're bunched together, and then they spread out. That is the sort of symmetry that we're going for with this particular project. Now I'm just going to lay it out flat and give you a better overview. So you have little pairings going on. Look, look, look sort of like little angel wings from this perspective. But that is row one. Now, like I said, rows two and three are considerably easier. This, this is the hard part. Once you get past the hard part, the rest is gravy, and we shall continue on. Alrighty, so for row two, we're going to start by chaining up one, turn the work, and we're going to do some slip stitches because I want to get into this little chain two space. So slip stitch into that first single crochet, and then slip stitch into the chain two space, like so. All right, from now, going to chain up four, one, two, three, and four, and that's going to count as a double crochet and a chain one space. Then into that same chain two space, double crochet. So in essence, we have a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the chain two space. All right, so now chain two, and into this little space here, this chain space up at the top, do a single crochet. And then chain three, one, two, three, and then into this chain two space right down here, we're gonna do sort of a, a mini cluster of two double crochets done together. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and pull through two, but don't finish. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then finish off your two double crochets by pulling through all three. So we've got sort of a mini cluster. Chain three, one, two, whoop, 
three. And then again, into this loop here, do a single crochet stitch. Now it can be a little bit confusing because here we have chain threes, and then over here we have a chain two. Now, how I figured out how to differentiate between the two is because here it's open. We have a chain one space, so we have more, more space to work with. So two chains, we need to lessen the number of chains because this is more open. This is more closed, so we need more chains. So hence two and three chains. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So right now, because it's going to be an open unit here, just like we had at the end, going to chain two, and then into this chain two space, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into that same chain two space. So I got a little open V here, chain two, single crochet into this top chain loop here, single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, more chains because we're doing another grouped cluster of two double crochets together. So after chaining three, go into the chain two space right down here, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then pull through all three loops. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet into the chain loop here. Chain two. And into the chain two space, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And yes, I am going to do the repeat, not to worry. And of course, there are going to be timestamps in the description box down below. Chain two. And then single crochet into this loop here. Chain three. Another double crochet cluster. So into the chain two space, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over pull up a loop, pull through two, and then pull through all three. Okay, chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet into the loop here. Chain two, and we reached the end. Yes, we have. So into this chain two space, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And there you go. That is the end of row two. So we have open Vs and little closed clusters in between our wings. Alrighty, and we shall continue on to row three. All right, so row three, gonna start by chaining up one, turn the work, and into our first stitch here, going to do a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into the next double crochet. So give ourselves a little bit of a little bit of a loop there. Okay. And then going to skip this chain two space and into the chain three space, we're going to start our next butterfly wing. So yarning over twice and into that chain three space, three trebles. So it's pull through two, through two, through two, yarning over twice through two, through two, 
through two, yarn over twice, through two, through two, through two, chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet into that same space. There we are. So you can see that our wings are going in the same direction, and that is very important. All right, so now we need another chain two loop. So chain two, and then just hop right over this little closed cluster and do a single crochet into that next space. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and then three trebles into the same space. So yarning over twice, three trebles, pull through two, through two, through two, yarning over twice, pulling up a loop, through two, through two, through two, yarning over twice, pulling up a loop, through two, through two, through two. Okay, then pull out some more yarn as needs be. <laughs> and we have to anchor this wing and we're going to do that into this chain one space down here. So anchor it with a single crochet. And again, you can see that the direction of this wing follows the direction of this wing. So now we're skipping this chain two space and going into this next chain three space. So yarning over twice, going into, like I said, not the chain two space, but the chain three space, going in with three trebles. And also, as you can see, I made my initial loop a little too loose. So I'm going to fix that. There we go. Skipping the chain two, going into the chain three. Through two, through two, through two. That's better. Yarning over twice, pulling up a loop. Through two, through two through two, yarning over twice, pulling up a loop, through two, through two, through two, chain four, single crochet into the same space, chain two, skipping over the closed cluster there, single crochet into the next space, chain four, and three trebles into this space. Through two, through two, through two. Yarning over twice, pulling up a loop. Through two, through two, through two. Yarning over twice, pulling up a loop. Through two, through two, through two. Okay, and we have to anchor this one into the chain one space. Single crochet. Okay, again, skipping the chain two space, going into the chain three space, yarning over twice, going in, pulling up a loop, through two, through two, through two, yarning over twice, pulling up a loop, through two, through two, through two, yarning over twice, pulling up a loop, through two, through two, through two, chain four, single crochet into the same space. There we are. And we are almost to the end of this row anyway. Chain two, single crochet into the next space, passing over that closed cluster. And then going to have to 
chain four, one, two, three, four, three trebles into this space, pulling up a loop through two, through two, through two, yarning over twice, pulling up a loop, boom, 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 boom. There we go. And then, since we've reached the end, what we're going to do is we're going to anchor this one down, going to go into the double crochet with a single crochet, chain two, and then do another single crochet into the space. And there you go. Ta -da! And yeah, it looks a little bit warbly and wavy, but the more fabric you work, it sort of works itself out and you can block it a little bit better. But of course, you know, I am going to do a repeat or two because I know that in spite of the fact that this is a two row repeat, it is a little bit complex and I respect that. So, but like I said before, keep in mind that as you can see, our wings are going in the same direction here, same direction here, and here, and here. And that really helps with future rows trying to figure out, all right, which direction am I going in, whether it's to the left or to the right. Okay, so let's do a repeat or two together and we shall continue. All righty. All righty, so to repeat row two, I'm gonna start by chaining up one, turn the work, and we're going to do two slip stitches. Slip stitch into the single crochet and slip stitch into the chain two space. Then chain four, one, two, three, and four. Double crochet into that same chain two space. There we go. And because this is a, a spaced V, we only need two chains. Oh, correction. No, 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 I'm right. <laughs> it's only two chains because it's open. It's the closed ones that need three. See, I, I do correct myself. I do. All right, so we have our open V. We have our chain two. Single crochet into the top chain space here. Okay. And yes, I need to pull out some more yarn. It is what we do. Okay, so now, now I chain three. One, two, three. Okay. And into this chain two space, we need another closed double crochet cluster together. So yarning over, going in, pulling up a loop, pull through two. Yarning over, going in, pulling up a loop, pull through two. And then pull through all three chain three, single crochet into this loop here, chain two, and then into this single crochet right down here where we anchored, double crochet, chain one, double crochet chain two, single crochet into the loop here, chain three, and then into the chain two loop, pull through two, yarn over, go back in, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then pull through all three because that one needs to be closed. 
right? Chain three, one, two, three, single crochet into the loop. Chain two into the single crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain two, single crochet into the loop, chain three, into the chain two space, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through all three to make your cluster, chain three, single crochet into the loop, chain two, and then last but not least, going to into this chain two loop, do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And that is the repeat for row two. Alrighty. Row three for the repeat. Chain up one, turn the work. And into this first double crochet, do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the next double crochet. So we created our little loop here. And then skipping the chain two space, going into the chain three space, we need our first wing. So going to do three trebles, so we're yarning over twice, going in through two, through two, through two, yarning over twice, pulling up a loop, through two, 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 yarn over twice, through two, through two, through two. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Single crochet into that same space. And then we need a chain two loop. So one, two chains, single crochet into the next space. Chain four, one, two, three, four, three trebles into the same space, yarning over twice, through two, through two, through two, and again, through two, and two, and two, through two, through two, through two, and we need to anchor it to the chain one space of the previous rows of these, so single crochet into there. Skip the chain two space, going to the next chain three space with our next wing. So that's three trebles through two, through two, through two, through two, through two, through two, and then boom, boom, boom. Okay, chain four. Single crochet into that same space. Chain two, skip over the closed cluster, single crochet into the next space. Chain four, and then three trebles into the same space. Okay, then we need to anchor it down into the chain one space of the previous rows V. Skip this chain two space, going into the next chain three space with three trebles. 
Boom. 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 Shaboom. And then one, two, three. All right. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet into that same space. Chain two. Single crochet into the next space, hopping over that closed cluster. Chain four. And then three trebles into the same space here. There we go. And then two more. There we are. And then we need to anchor it down. So going to do a single crochet into this double crochet. Chain two and single crochet into the space. And there we go. Ta -da! All right. So as I always like to say for stuff and giggles, I think we will do one more repeat because you know, I like to be thorough. I pride myself on trying to be as thorough as I can without being redundant. I don't know. You tell me, am I redundant? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just want to make sure that you guys really get it. All right, so let's do another repeat. All righty. Okay, so for the final repeat of this video, row two, I'm going to start by chaining up one, turning the work, and we need our slip stitches. So slip stitch into the single crochet. and then slip stitch into the chain two space. And then chain up four, one, two, three, and four, double crochet into that same space. Chain two, single crochet into the little top loop here, that top chain space there. Chain three, one, two, three, and then into the chain two space, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through all three for a cluster of two double crochets together. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet into the loop here. Chain two into the single crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain two, single crochet into the loop here, chain three, yarning over, pulling up a loop, pull through two, yarning over, pulling up a loop, pull through two, pull through all three. There we go. So we've got another little cluster. Chain three again, one, two, three, single crochet into this loop. Chain two into the single crochet, do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, chain two, single crochet into the loop up here, chain three, yarning over into that chain two space, pulling up a loop, pull through two, yarning over, pulling up a loop, pull through two, then pull through all three. Chain three, single crochet into the chain space, chain two, 
And then last but not least, into the chain two space, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Ta -da! All right, so that is row two for the final repeat. I'm going to do a row three as well. I mean, really, you could leave off on this row or, you know, row two or row three, whichever your fancy, you know, where, wherever your fancy takes you, you know, really, it's quite all right. Because I do get a lot of questions, which row should I leave off on? Either or, have fun with it. You know, whichever looks better for you. But I am going to do a row three as well. And there you go. Okay, last but not least, row three for the repeat. So you're going to start off by chaining one, turning the work, and into that double crochet, do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the next double crochet. Okay, then skipping over the chain two space, going into the chain three space with three trebles, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And boom, boom, boom. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet into that same space. Chain two. Hop over the cluster, going to the next space with a single crochet. Chain four. And then three trebles into this space. The same one. And then one more. Okay, then anchor it down into the chain one space of the previous rows V. Skip the next chain two space, going to the next chain three space with three trebles. Chain four. Single crochet into the same space. Chain two. Skip over the closed cluster, single crochet into the next space, chain four, three trebles into the same space. Oops, it happens. One, two, three. Okay, and then one more. And then anchor it down into the chain one space from the previous rows V. A little bit more yarn. Okay. Skip the chain two space, going to the next three chain space with three trebles. It's one. Two. Three, chain four, single crochet into the same space. Okay, chain two, do a hop, skip, and a jump over the closed cluster into the next chain space. Chain four, three trebles into the same space. That's one and two and whoop, hello. And three. Okay, then going to anchor it down 
going to do a single crochet into the double, chain two, and single crochet into the chain space. And there you have it. So if you want more of a, a flat edge along the top, then you would end on a row two. But if you want it more puffy and open like this, you would end on a row three. Either or, you know, I don't judge. It's, it's your project, you know, however you want to make it. But either way, I think it's really pretty. It's a great stitch. And I hope that you enjoy this tutorial because this was a lot of fun. Yes, and I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, give a little thumbs up button down below, you know, because I always appreciate your appreciation as always. And also do hit subscribe because I do try to post as often as I can in spite of everything going on, um, you know. And uh, also check out my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, where I do video game playthrough and commentary. It's a lot of fun. Would love to see you there too. And... Uh, yeah, that pretty much covers it. And until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching and safe. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.